Okay, so something totally awesome about this trip, we get to add a sticker, a new state sticker to our US map sticker on the side of our RV. Yes. <laughs> it's a Georgia. And that would be right here. Okay, peel that off of there, babe. And we get to put this on right in front of our new horse friends mm -hmm. that we made right here at Adamson Oaks. All right, baby, think you can hack it? Better get it straight there because I'm pretty yeah, OCD. I know you are. <laughs> Georgia going on. Oh, yo, oh, babe. My heart's starting to beat fast because you got it crooked. I know. <laughs> there you go. There. All right. Yeah. Yay. There we go. Georgia is on the map. <laughs> Woo. All right. Let's hit the road, babe. People always told me I need someone like you, someone who gets me, and someone who's cool, yeah. All right, guys, so we got to our uh, campground for the night. This is in Cordell, Georgia. It was 45 bucks to pull in here for the night. We're just staying for one night. Oh, look, we got a water tower up here. It says Crisp County Cordell. Pecan Circle. <laughs> so I noticed these little cabins over here. Look at this. They are literally just a tiny, tiny little cabin. It's probably a one-room little cabin, but they look pretty cool. Yeah, look at this little thing, guys. I mean, it's a cute little cabin. It would be fun for the night. There's a one-room air conditioner in there. We're gonna go check out this other one. Oh, apparently this is the parking right here for one and the other. Yeah, there's a curtain up so you can't see in the window. But, and for all we know, there could be somebody inside this cabin right now, so we better get out of Dodge. Oh, there's a dog in there. <laughs> I told you, I, told, I knew there might be somebody in there. There's no cars here, but. You never know. Now there's a dog going nuts in there. <laughs> I guess that's what you get when you get curious. So here's the rest of the park. It's just a small park here. That's where you check in. There's a swimming pool over there that's, I believe it's closed right now. These are the bathrooms right here. I mean, like the showers. We went in and checked them out to see if we wanted to use them, but... Nah. <laughs> here's our site for the night right here. I'll get a good shot of it. Very nice sight. Nice and roomy. Not really touching the next person <laughs> like most campgrounds. Yeah. Yep, there's our site for the night. We got a fire pit over here if we wanted to have a fire, but we're not going to. We're only here for one night. It's a nice pull-through site, and there's just not a whole lot of people around us. But there is a lot of room between us and each of the neighbors, and that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is morning guys. We just hit Walmart for some more road food replenish on our drinks and stuff I got one of these Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Major Melons. Hopefully it'll be tasty. You ready to roll? I am ready to roll <laughs> All right, let's get out of town We are here. We just got set up. I am so excited. I can't even stand it. My heart is like going like a jackrabbit. This is our site for the night. We got full hookups. I am so blown away by this whole thing. 
full hookups and behind me is this amazing lake that we're looking out over from our front windows look at this thing this is absolutely incredible <laughs> oh my gosh I just I, I cannot believe that I'm here right now I've seen this place filmed several times on YouTube what this is is the filming location of Tim Burton's big fish if you guys saw that movie, I believe it was put out in 2004. This is absolutely amazing. I cannot believe this. All right, hold on a second. Okay, so we left Bradenton, Florida. We went to Tallahassee, Florida, and then we went to uh, Glenville, Georgia. From Glenville, Georgia, we went to, what the heck was it called? Cordell, Georgia. That's what it was, Cordell. And we stayed at a park over there just for one night so that we could dump our tanks and get showers and everything. And the next place we were supposed to be going was in Alabama, but it totally fell through. I couldn't get a hold of the people. And so I just started, I spent like two hours looking for some place to go in Alabama using the Harvest Host and another one called Faithful Parking. I was striking out, guys. A while ago, we discussed coming here, but I totally forgot about it. I totally forgot that it was in Alabama. And while I'm searching, something about this place popped up on my feed. And I'm like, wait a minute, that is in Alabama. So I started looking for an RV park, and I started watching some videos on this place. And in the background, I noticed some RVs, and I'm like, you're kidding me. Is there actually an RV park on location? So I did some more research. I found the place. I called the guy who owns it. And sure enough, we are on location. We are on the property, guys. This is us right back here. I already showed you that. There's the beautiful lady right there. <laughs> you basically take this road right here all the way over. You go over this bridge here. And right over there on the island is where we're going to find the town of Spectre that is still standing the movie set from Big Fish. I, I cannot believe I'm going to get to see this with my own eyes. We are going to unhook the car and run over there and check it out. We've got about 30 minutes of light here, and then tomorrow I'm going to film it. So you guys are going to have to wait for that video. You're going to have to wait to see it until that video comes out. But I am just, I'm so excited. My heart's about to beat out of my chest. So guys, thank you for coming along on this trip today. Stay tuned, and you're going to get to see what's over on that island. I'm so excited. I want to stay here. I want to live here. <laughs> <laughs> it's so Gorgeous. It is. Babe. It's absolutely Beautiful. gorgeous. This is totally amazing, and it was completely an accident oh that I found gosh. it. Oh gosh. God, it was God. It, it no was. Accidents. It was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just I can't believe it. I was about to give up at the last minute after like two hours of yeah. searching. Yep. And yep. Anyways, guys, we're going to get this car unhooked. We're going to get over there and check it out for ourselves. And then tomorrow morning when it's light, we're going to go over and make an awesome video for it. Mm. So we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. People always told me I need someone like you, someone who gets me and someone